Hey guys, it's Ropsy back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, we'll be going through the latest updates in Liquid Text 5.5. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. In the past, liquid text organization has been quite challenging. Let's look at this histology project, for example. It includes all the necessary textbooks and course materials for histology. I could only have one topic per project in the past because I could only have one workspace per project. Every time I wanted to learn a new topic for histology, I had to import the same textbooks and PDFs. This took up plenty of iPad storage because you keep on creating very massive projects every single time. Because of this update, I can now have all my histology topics in one project. Not only does it save both time and space on my iPad, but it also makes organizing my notes in liquid text much simpler. It's very easy to add many workspaces and name them. I can quickly switch between all of my histology topics because they're all contained in one project. You can even group your workspaces to create child workspaces if you like. So for example, I could group all my topics according to different tests. If you want every workspace looking different, you can easily customize each to suit what you need. To maximize your productivity, you can have up to three workspaces active at once. It is set up the same way as your PDFs in the app, so it feels familiar. Your workspaces can either be horizontal or vertical. Not only can you reference multiple PDFs in liquid text, you can also do that with different notes. Liquid Text can link different workspaces together in a variety of ways. The quickest and easiest way to establish a connection between two ideas is to draw a line between them. It's the most intuitive way to create connections in the app. A workspace as a whole, or a portion of it, can be copied as a link and pasted anywhere within the app and to other apps as well. I have some notes that I want to expand on. They'll need a dedicated workspace, so I create one for them and name it. Once I am through with my notes on this new dedicated workspace, I will copy the link and paste it into my first workspace where I have a a small subtopic on tissue preparation. By clicking the link, I can quickly access the in-depth notes on the topic from a different workspace. In a similar manner, I can connect different extractions or collections of them rather than entire workspaces. With this multi-layered system, you can easily connect the dots between concepts presented in various course materials and notes in liquid text. Until now, accessing most functions in liquid text has required a number of tabs. In liquid text 5.5, you can now do anything without ever bringing up the document or workspace panels. It means we can work faster in the app. Liquid Text is one of our favorite apps for a number of reasons. We love what the app is trying to do for digital note takers, researchers, professionals, and businesses. We also have a great relationship with the developers, but more important than all of that, we love the developers' dedication to consistently improve Liquid Text. These updates open new possibilities that we are excited about and we'll be putting liquid text to the test. 
Is it more stable now? Does it handle PDFs better now that we can save space on our iPads? All questions we're eager to answer as we explore Liquid Text. Which update do you like the most from Liquid Text 5.5? Do tell. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.